Welcome to my crib, yo. <laughs> I mean, it's not really my crib because you're only gonna see a very tiny part of the house. So the reason why I wanted to give you guys a little tour of this space is because very soon it's going to change. It's no longer going to look like this, all thanks to Karen. So a few months ago, I called Karen up, who is the queen of decorating, and I was like, Karen, wait, wait, wait. I there's something some... going on with the camera. What? There's something. What's going Let's on? See. What? That's so weird. <laughs> segment of this video which is brought to you by FabFitFun. FabFitFun is a subscription box that I have always wanted to try. It is a subscription box filled with full-size beauty, lifestyle, and fashion products. It is a seasonal box, so it only comes around four times a year. So I have right now the fall edition, and I'm really excited to see what is inside. So as we unbox, I'll explain a little bit more about this this box. How many times am I gonna say box? I don't know. You can keep count if you'd like. So FabFitFun is priced at $49.99, but it has a retail value for over $200. So it's a pretty good deal. And if you use the code LANA, then you can get $10 off of your first order. Amazing. So on this box, it says City of Hope. And that is because FabFitFun always partners with a charity for each of their boxes. First up is this. These are exfoliating sugar cubes. And then we have... What is this? Oh, they're earrings. They're ear crawlers. Ooh, I have always wanted to use some of these. It's like they've read my mind. And then there's a little box of makeup and it has a mini brow pencil, a mini shadow crayon in a pink color, a mini shadow crayon in a brown color, and then a mini eye pencil. Ooh, I love Aveda. Okay, so this is a daily hair repair, instant visible repair, protects from heat styling. That is so funny because as I was styling my hair today, I was just like, Ooh, I'm, I've been using so much heat on my hair lately and I don't have a heat protectant. So again, that's it fun. Are you listening? And then we have a body souffle and this is from the brand Cumin and Kind. I don't think I've ever heard of them, but I really want to smell you. Ooh. This smells really fresh. Next up is this Aromatherapy Deep Relax Roller Ball. I smell you. That smells really, really nice. I feel like this is the perfect scent for my mother. So mom, if you're watching, this smells for you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, what is this? Amica, it's very heavy. <gasps> Seriously? A straightener? What? Okay, I definitely was not expecting this, but that's really cool. Oh, and then the last thing is a gourmet wood and ceramic cheese board gift set. All right, so that box was pretty awesome. And again, if you'd like to get one for yourself, then be sure to use Lana at checkout for $10 off. But okay, let's get back to the original video. Sleep. <laughs> 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 Okay, Karen done with the video. So okay. as I was saying, a few months ago, I called Karen up, who is the queen of decorating, and I was like, girl, I need some of your expertise, your advice, because I don't know what to do with my place. So I FaceTimed her, and she saw the place, and she was like, oh my God, let me do a living room makeover. I didn't know if I should be offended or excited, but I think I'm a mixture of both. So before Karen comes over and makes those changes to the house, I thought that I would show you my crib. Well, again, not my entire crib, just this part of the house. What is... This is Why the tippy toe? This is how I get my point across. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start over here because this is, plays a huge role in our lives. We have three cats. That's right, three. And we have a tower for each of them. This one is Leia's? O'Malley's? Was between the two of them? Whatever, beside the point. That's Leia. Hi, Leia. Don't forget about Bia. Moving on to this area. This is Luthu's favorite area. I got him this chair for his birthday. What was it, last year? Mm -hmm. Isn't it so exciting? Okay, so Luthu has always wanted one of these ever since, you know, he watched Friends. He always wanted his very own Rosita, and now he has it. It has heat, it has massage. I can give you the number so you can buy one for yourself. I'm kidding. <laughs> I feel like a spokesperson for them. Now moving on to my favorite thing in the house is this giant mirror. I love it. I wasn't even the person who decided 
that it would look really good there. Um, when we came to see our house for the first time, this was a showroom and this is how they had it decorated and we literally just tried to mimic it as closely as possible and we failed because we left out a lot of really good details, but that's fine. And then we have this plant, Ikea plant. I feel like everyone has one of these plants in their houses for like five. And then here are the couches. This is what started it all. So before they were gray, they were actually blue because I, again, I saw them in the showroom, the way that they had decorated this house and they had blue couches and I was like, oh, amazing, amazing way of implementing color. And then we had it and it didn't go with anything else. And so we were like, uh-oh. There's an issue, so we made it gray again. And then here we have a coffee table that is way too small for this atmosphere. Is it not? I feel like every time I look at it, it just seems so dumb. It's so tiny. Like look at the size of our couches and look at the size of that. Right? It's so weird. I wasn't lying, we have a lot of cat towers. Um, this one in particular is amazing because it actually came like that. My cats are not just like really fat and they like made it tilt to one side. It No, it came like that. And I just noticed that there's something here that we need to get rid of. <laughs> the glamour of YouTube. Moving on. And here we have the exact same couch, but on this side, except we've had this specific couch for a very long time and you can tell because of this cushion and this cushion. They don't look as nice and firm as that one. You know why? You know why? It's because our cat loves to lay here for some reason. We have so many cat towers and one of our cats, Bia, the like very furry one, this is her favorite place to stay. Here's an Ikea lamp. I feel like we've also had this for a very long time and I feel like most people have had one of these at some point in their lives. It's great because um, it's one of these. <laughs> and then this! I actually really love this. I feel like it doesn't really go with everything in the house because it has more of like a boho feel and nothing else in our house has a boho feel. Um, but I love this. I think it's so cute. Why do I keep falling? Okay, you want to see some magic? Three, two, one. Right. Can you tell a difference? Yeah, it, okay. it shines like the sun. And then I just added a little plant. Fake a little blanket. Plant. And a little blanket that we never ever use because... If not, it would mess with the decor you know what I mean? But that's a part of being an adult, like having things that are, that are not... just decoration and not meant to do anything. And here we have our TV! Stevie! Stevie the TV! And our speakers. Great, like tour, <laughs> Lana. And another, another speaker. That's a subwoofer. And then, don't we have another one back here? Yeah, yeah the sound bar. And then we have this, which again, also does not make sense with the rest of the house. So, okay, wait, before I get into it. So Karen, Karen was telling me that the reason why our house doesn't make sense is because we've combined so many different styles of decor into one. So typically if someone will have like just boho or just... Modern? Modern. <laughs> <laughs> or classic modern or something like that. And we have a little bit of everything. And so it looks a little bit chaotic, but it somehow works, right? I guess. Okay. Anyway, so plants aren't the only fake things we have. We also have fake candles. <laughs> they light the moon. No, seriously, at night, it definitely looks really cute when you put them in here. And it's not a fire hazard or anything. It's just practical and cute and amazing. I bet Karen's gonna get rid of this. Here's another place where our cats are meant to sleep and they don't. Um, although Bia did sleep here for like two weeks and then she got over it really fast and moved back onto the couch, but it's cute. I, I'm still hoping that one of them will find their way back in to here and then sleep here and make use of it because I bought it for them and they don't use it. Now we have another tower. This was meant to be Bia's tower. You know who took over? O'Malley, which you guys have not met yet. He's upstairs because he still doesn't get along that well with the cats. Um, it's a work in progress, but anyways. Tell the truth, Lana, you nap there. <laughs> Every day you I come nap. down the stairs, glu, 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 and Lana is like curled up in, in that there. circle. In there! Yes. Even actually that mouse, that, that toy mouse, is Lana's. It's my toy mouse. Yes. And all this catnip is for me. Yeah. It's human nip. <laughs> I've seen a lot of creatures not give a crap. 
<laughs> and then Leia. Wait for it. Well, BB. That if I stroke her enough, she'll she'll stay. Um, oh, that sounds really gross. Do tell me in the comments what you guys think of our decorating. I feel like for the untrained eye, people are gonna look and be like, "Oh, this looks completely fine." But I guess for like a professional point of view, our house looks like a mess. To be honest, I mean, I like the place. I like the way it's decorated, but I've always wanted a Pinteresty kind of house, and I feel like Karen is gonna help us achieve that goal of mine. So. I'm really excited, but do tell me, what do you guys like from this place? What do you not like? Trust me, I won't get offended because it's going to change. And also, do you guys follow that whole thing where like you have to stick to one specific type of decor or do you guys mix a little bit of a lot of elements together? Am I the only one that does that? I can't imagine I am. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this lovely tour. I hope it was lovely. And I do plan to do one about the outside, so about the backyard. <laughs> that was an easier way of saying it. So if that is something that you guys would like to see, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I feel so weird every time I do that because I never ask for thumbs up, but this time I am. All right guys, I will see you in the next video.